Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today we're at Brie Like Cheese's number six, where we're looking at this Delice de France Grand Camembert, which is from France. What a surprise. So I bought this at a local grocery store. I knew, well, it says Camembert, so there you go. And then it's got all the characteristics. It's soft and squishy, has a buttery like color in the middle and a white, very white rind on the outside. So it's one of those bloomy rind cheeses. And then it has the French name, so there's no doubt about it. Lots of Brie's don't even say Brie or Brie like things. They could use the name. So let's see what happens. Okay, everything's peeling off just right. So this has been out for a couple hours out of the fridge and at room temperature now. It's certainly ambient where the flavor will be the best and it's most spreadable. So I'm going to try to keep this little label here close by. Let's see if it says anything. Nothing I can tell. Culture, pasteurized milk, cream, salt, enzymes, contains milk, gluten-free, keep refrigerated. Product of USA. Ah! It's not French. I need to read labels better. So this is a domestic camembert. So I'm going to pull a knife and just get a little taste. I'm going to cut off mostly inside parts. There's a little rind with it, but I'm going to get a taste of it and we'll see where we're headed. Mmm. There's a spiciness to it. The outer rind usually gives mushroom notes, but camembert molds, the penicillium camembert tea is usually a little funkier and whoa. Okay, that's interesting. I want to get into the interior because the edge I tasted was a little on the dry side. So you can see a top and a bottom rind here. It's got a little brown or grayish on the inside, but white on the outside. So let's figure this out. Okay, so I think I'm going to expose some of the interior and then cut from that. So this is a very solid, it's not a very buttery texture. It's creamy, but it's not fluffy. It's kind of, it's a little wet, but it springs back some. And it's not overly salted. I'm trying to figure out what the main flavors are. Wow. Lots of things gonna suck. It's kind of a spiciness to it. It's not too salty. It doesn't doesn't really scream butter and cream at me like some of the cheeses do. So this is milder flavor in the butter and cream department. It's milder flavor in the mushroomy notes, or fungal notes from the rind. And then there's a spiciness to it. It's not, it's not quite black pepper, it might be more like white pepper. And it's a pretty mild, moderate spiciness, but I haven't found this on any of the other cheeses in this series, in this kind of set. So this is a little bit different and a little bit interesting. Some of the things I liked about the other cheeses aren't here, but that spiciness is intriguing. So definitely a high quality cheese that anyone would uh, enjoy on a cheese board, I think. I'll try this on the last cracker type here, and then move on to pairings. This is good, it spreads okay. The rind is the toughest parts and uh, will resist cutting and spreading, but the cheese seems to spread okay. Mmm. Really goes well with the uh, toasted flatbreads over here. So I'm going to try to get 
sizable piece of the cheese and maybe throw in some uh, dried cherries. So I don't think there are strong flavors in here. The cherries might be the strongest flavor. We all find out. Wow, the combination gave me this uh, impression that something was smoky. Even though none of the individual components have any smoky flavors or aromas. So the ch dried cherries, the concentrated fruit nature of the dried cherries was so strong, it was, that was the loudest notes. And the cheese and cracker were just a nice background to taste all that cherryness. Um, really good. I like that. So now that we have a milder cheese here, I'm going to try some macadamia nuts, which were so mild before, they didn't stand up to the strong, buttery, salty cheeses. Maybe now they have a chance with this thing. So three half macadamia nuts. Let's go see. Wow, that's a good pairing. The uh, crunchiness of the nuts and the uh, the cheese not being strongly salted, and the maybe a little nutty nature in the multi-grain crackers. It was just a good combination. Where I could taste macadamia nut, I got lots of crunch from it, and the cheese didn't overwhelm it, and the cracker and the salts were not all stronger than the macadamia nuts. So that was a good pairing. So this has been an interesting journey so far and I'm having a uh, pretty good time exploring these different cheeses. And read those labels carefully because not everything that says France on the label came from France. They want you to think that, don't they? Please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions. And check back with us next time for another interesting cheese from our country or somewhere else in the world. So come back for more and cheers.